joining me today. I, I'm Raj Beadle. I just want to go through a few of the, the pod baskets and the traditional baskets for a classic Gadget or any other machine that takes a 58 millimeter uh, basket. You have a, a filter holder or porter filter, which is a 58 millimeter porter filter. And on this one, we have got a plastic splitter. Usually, you will find that the new machines come with a perfect crema basket. Is to I have got two here. Uh, one is a, the the 14 gram or double basket that has a, a very tiny hole on the bottom layer, and if you look through the top layer, there are lots of holes. So the coffee, when it infuses, it goes through the first layer and comes through the bottom layer at a certain pressure, usually about 9 bar of pressure, it will come through, depending on how the coffee is, whether it's a finely ground coffee or a coarsely ground coffee, and also how much you tamp it. Usually you don't have to tamp it on a pressurized basket, but you can depending on how the fineness is. So that's your double basket. Now I'm going to show you a similar one which is a single basket. Now the single basket also has got one hole at the bottom and lots of holes at the inside. And again the same principle applies. Um, coffee, uh, water goes through there, infuses the coffee and then it comes through one hole. So you'll find that there is a lot of pressure built up and that's why we have what is called a, a perfect crema pin. Now there are two types, one is a plastic small piece that actually was on pre-2015 models and you put this in here before you put your basket in and that is to stop the pressure sending the water all over the place. It will just flow through properly. So it is actually a regulator. Now you use that for both the single and the double pressurized basket. Now the post-2015 models have a slightly bigger one because a lot of people tend to lose this little piece. And therefore they have got a larger piece now, which actually fits in on the pre on the post 2015 models and therefore it, it's uh, very unlikely uh, that you would you know lose this large piece uh, some people do uh, so you have got two types of discs which are we call them perfect rubber pins or regulators now that's the perfect crema baskets I've shown you the single and the double. The single usually is for about 7-8 grams of coffee, but you can also use it for pods. A lot of people think that this is only for pods. You can actually use ground coffee as well. Now, what you don't get on the newer models is a traditional basket like these. Now, I've got quite a few here. Uh, one that is a 14 gram basket. Now, if I look through there, I can actually see the holes, all the holes, and you can see the light through those holes. Uh, I don't know whether you can see it, but if you actually hold it against the light, you will be able to see all the holes. This is a 14 gram basket, and if you actually put it against a 16 gram basket, which also has got holes, you'll find that the the 14 gram basket is slightly uh, shorter so you can actually have 16 grams of coffee that has got 14 grams of coffee I quite like the 14 grams because you can tamp it nicely and it comes through as a nice pump um, so I, I quite like the 14 grams they are usually on uh, commercial machines uh, but we do them and you can buy them online uh, and you can use them for normal coffee and you really have to have very finely ground coffee if you are doing any of the traditional baskets. Now I'm going to show you the single versions of those. So we have here, uh, this, these are the same. Again you have got a lot of holes there and you can 
see through the light. That means that it's a traditional basket, and therefore you have to exert some pressure, like the 14 gram and the 16 gram, to get a nice crema. And the, the, fi the coffee has to be really fine. Now, you can also get another basket, which is a slightly shorter basket, a single one. This has got less holes, and it's ideal for pods. Now, there are different types of pods. We are talking about ESC standard pods. You might have pods from different companies. Uh, Illy is quite a good pod. Gadget has got its own. There are quite a lot of people who use, who have pods. And there, there might be slight variations. Although they are for the same standard, you might find that there are variations. So it's good to have something that actually works with most pods. This shallow basket, I find that is ideal for uh, most pods. Uh, you'll get a tighter uh, coffee, and therefore you'll get a nice crema. These ones, sometimes it works very well on, on commercial machines, but when it comes to these type of machines, there might be slight variation. So I would recommend that you have a, a, a what we call a seven gram pod basket. You'll find that there's a C in them. It's called chalda, which is the Italian word for pods. And uh, and the same, actually there is a C on the 14 gram as well. And again, this can be used with a 14 gram coffee pod. It's not a standard pod that you can get as easily as a uh, an ESC 7 gram pod, but you can get them. So you have got quite a number of different pods. Now, all these traditional baskets, you don't need the perfect crema pin, small or large. You can insert them straight on. And because uh, you haven't got the same pressure build up as in the pressurized basket, they come through fairly well regulated. So that's those are the differences between the different baskets. I quite like the uh, the twelve gram or oh, seven gram basket uh, pod basket, but you can also use it for a single shot. I like the fourteen gram basket as well because it gives me a firm puck at the end. Uh, always use a finely ground coffee. You need to try different coffees. Now we use a, a, an MDF gadget, MDF 34 setting grinder, and usually you have it at about three, four, five uh, settings. Depending on the coffee, you'll get a nice fine grind. Uh, you have to try different coffees. It has to be fresh, of course. Um, so try various coffees with various uh, types of baskets. These pressurized baskets tend to be uh, very easy. You can just put even a slightly coarser coffee, maybe a slightly uh, uh, older coffee and still get a crema. Whereas with these, you really have to try hard. Uh, that's why people give up. But I think they are fantastic if you, when, you, when you want to make a, a perfect espresso, you really want to try these traditional baskets. Thank you. I hope it's useful for you. We have got more videos on our website, so please visit uh, gadgetdirect.com or gadget.co.uk or gadget.uk.com. Thank you for watching.